guys, let me tell you about myself with Draw My Life. So this is me, my head, my body, my hands, and my legs, and this is my、uh, arms, and my mouth, and my hair, and this is my life. Welcome to Ryan's world. When I was born. My daddy was away at school, far, far away. I think it was called graduate school. So for the first two months, it was just me and mommy. When I was two months old, daddy came home, and we were a big happy family. And then. Because I was the first baby, Daddy did not know how to take care of me. He didn't know how to give me bottles, and he did not know how to change my diapers. I would throw my bottles at him. I was just a baby. Mommy and Daddy said I was a picky eater. I would spit out food that tastes yucky. Bleh. Everything tastes yucky except milk. I can drink milk all day. Yummy! I didn't like baby toys when I was a baby. All the baby toys that mommy and daddy got me, I would throw them and cry and cry and cry. And then one day, my daddy came home with the remote control car. It was the first toy that I liked to play with. I was eight months old. That toy car was my favorite. I would drive that remote control car into the cow table chair. I knocked stuff over all over the place. This is when I start liking more toys. When I got bigger, I would watch YouTube videos on my mommy's iPad. YouTube was so cool. All the kids on there had cool toys. And I like watching them play. When I was three, no, no, I think I was three and a half. I asked my mommy if we could start a YouTube channel. My mommy says yes. So we started my own YouTube channel, Ryan's Toys Review. We played with Lego toys, Disney car toys, Thomas and Friends toys. And even more, I opened surprise eggs and did science experiments. One day, my mommy and daddy told me that I would become a big brother. We went to the doctor to check out the baby in mommy's tummy. The doctor said that he could see two heads. What? Two heads? A baby with two heads. I never seen a baby with two heads before. But the doctor says it wasn't one baby with two heads. Mommy has two babies in her tummy. I'm going to be a big brother two times. Then my mommy told me I would have two baby sisters. We didn't know what to name them at first. Then we decided to name them Emma and Kate. When the babies finally came out of mommy's tummy, I didn't know who was who. Which one is Emma? Which one is Kate? I was so confused. They look exactly the same. But I like showing them all my new toys. I have so much fun playing with my baby sisters, and sometimes I help my mommy give them a bottle too. When they were tiny, I liked it. They were so cute. But now they can walk, and all they do now is mess up my toys. They pull all the. Coke cans from my Power Wheel car. Now I need to hide some of my toys until they're ready to play with them. They can only play with baby toys for now. 
but I love playing with them so much. We played hide and seek, and sometimes I chased them around too. One day, when I was playing with my little sisters, there was a knock at the door. I had a package, and inside it was Gus. Gus the Gummy Gator. He mailed himself to me. He had a hey, teddy Ryan. bear and a picture of Gus and me too, and a surprise toy for me. Then we played tag, and we shared some of his yummy gummies. I was so happy to meet my new friend, Gus the Gummy Gator. Then, when I got bigger, I started playing video games, and my favorite is Roblox. I love to play Roblox. I play Roblox Natural Disaster, Roblox Hide and Seek, and I also play Boxing Simulator too. And Roblox work out of pizza place. One day, I wanted to play Roblox, and a controller jumped out of the TV. It was Combo Panda's controller. I can't believe he came out of the TV. Combo Bunga. Combo is a fun gaming panda. He jumped out of the TV and told me he has a YouTube channel too. I was so happy to be another new friend. Now I play with Combo all the time. I joined the Combo group. Combo Bunga. When I'm not on YouTube, I like to play sports. I used to play soccer, go swimming. Now I do music class and tennis. I'm so excited to try new sports. What other sports do you think I should try? This year I started going to kindergarten. I was kind of scared on my first day of school. I was nervous but excited at the same time. I didn't know if I would have a nice teacher or a mean teacher. I didn't know if I could make any friends, and some people recognized me. Now I'm not scared anymore. School is so much fun. I learned to read and write, and I like to do math. We go outside on the playground too. Oh, and I also go to gym class. And my favorite is also art and music. And we go to the library to check out books. My teacher is so nice, and I made so many cool, awesome friends. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone! Today on Ryan's Family Review, we want to do a draw my life. So we're gonna tell the story of how Ryan's mommy and daddy first met. A long time ago, when I was still in college, Daddy was a junior in college. I thought I was senior. No, you were a junior, and I was a senior. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it was about to be the beginning of my junior year in college. I just finished working all summer at a Japanese food restaurant, and my best friend Patrick invited me to go to an art gallery later that day with some more friends. And I just came back to school and met my roommates when they invited me to go to an art gallery and celebrate back to school. My roommates were friends with Patrick too. I guess everyone is friends with Patrick. Yeah, he's amazing. So we all decided to meet at the restaurant and eat before the art gallery. When I showed up with my friends, I saw him. I thought he was so high maintenance. He looked like he took so much time on his hair, like he was trying to look like a Japanese movie star. And he was taking all these selfies of himself. I just like to look nice. High maintenance. At the restaurant, I ordered some really spicy wings that I didn't know were really hot. Yeah, we were all laughing because you can see him sweating through his shirt, and he was sweating all over his face. It was so funny. Yeah, it was so hot. I had to drink like ten cups of water. <laughs> so after that, we went to the art gallery, and we saw all kinds of arts. 
They were really cool. It was so much fun. We took a lot of pictures. Yes, and he took a lot of selfie. Yeah, yeah, it was just for Facebook. Sure. So we became friends after that and we would hang out together. One time, I invited him to work out with me, and he made exercising look so easy. We were both running on a treadmill. And after like five minutes, I was already tired. I was just really trying to impress her. After that, we started finding things that we both like to do together. One time, I saw this card game called Magic the Gathering that she had, and I was so excited because I used to play that game when I was younger. He was so excited, he went all the way to the comic book store to get his own cards to play against me. But I already had all the good cards, so I kept beating him. I couldn't let her keep beating me, so I kept playing until I finally won. Yeah, we were both super competitive. So hours later, he finally won, and it was like 5 o'clock in the morning, and we were both so exhausted. But it was so much fun. This was actually our first fight as friends too. Oh yeah, I remember that. So I let her use my cards sometimes, and she kept accidentally bending and scratching the cards. My cards, I got so mad. Yeah, he said I wasn't allowed to use his cards anymore. I had to use mine after that. We got over it eventually though. Then it was Halloween. Yay for Halloween! I was Bumblebee. <laughs> and I was Harry Potter. He even had the Harry Potter broomstick. I brought it all the way from home too. So later on during the party, my feet started hurting because I was wearing high heels and I'm not used to high heels. I couldn't walk anymore and my feet hurted so much. So I actually carried her to the car because she says her feet hurt. And I felt so bad later because he left his Harry Potter broomstick because he was carrying me. Yeah, I really like that my Harry Potter broom. Sorry. So because I knew how sad he was about leaving his broom behind, I decided to make it up to him and made him dinner. But unfortunately, it did not go as planned. Oh yeah, that was not fun. I think that was mommy's first time cooking. <laughs> so I'm not the best cooker, still I'm not, but I tried to make shrimp with rice and asparagus. It was nice for her to do, but she put too much spice on the shrimp, so I needed 10 cups of water like before, because I don't like spicy stuff. Again, I could see him sweating all over his shirt and face. I didn't want to be rude, so I know she put so much effort into it, so I kept eating and ate the whole plate. Thank you for that. I guess he did impress me because when he asked me to go on a date with him, I agreed to go. When I asked her to go to the drive-in movie, I never actually been there before, so she drove us. We watched two scary movies, Zombieland and Saw. He actually got more scared than I did. It was kind of embarrassing to ask her on the second date because I was so scared on the first date. I didn't know if she would agree to go on the next one. And I could tell he was embarrassed, so instead of waiting for him to ask, I asked him. And obviously I say yes. So that's the story of how mommy and daddy first met, became friends, and went on our first date. Hi you little gators, I'm just the gator. Today I'm going to draw my life story. Once upon a time there was a big old swamp. It was green and beautiful with fishes and turtles and dinosaurs. No, that's not right. Dinosaurs come later in the story. This is where I was born. Mama and Daddy Gator were so proud. I loved living in the swamp. We had a ginormous outdoor swimming pool, but I never learned how to swim too good. Then one day I made a friend next to the pool. He told me all about his house and joys and his amazing candy. Mmm. I tried some and I loved it. I started playing every day with my new friend. It was so fun. 
Then one day, Dad got a job selling power cars. We had to leave the swamp, me and my best friend. Moving to the city was hard. Nobody had giant swimming pools like in the swamp. Nobody knew where to find gummies either. Daddy didn't like it too much. Hmm. My new school was no fun at all. I had no friends. I couldn't count too good. More say colors. And all of my science experiments exploded. I miss my friends so much. I thought about him every day. Well, maybe every other day. Then one day, I saw this little gator on YouTube named Lion. He was playing with toys, driving cars, and having so much fun with his family. And I thought for sure he would want to be my friend, too. The very next day, I asked my parents if I could start my own YouTube channel, just like Ryan's. And you know what? They said yes. All right. At first, I made videos about how to make gummies. That was real messy. Then I made videos of all my adventures with my friends and some T-Rex dinosaurs. We started a band, played with Play-Doh, and put out fires. It was pretty crazy. We had so much fun. Mama and Papa were so proud. My friend from the swamp loved it too. We even made it to 100,000 subscribers in just five months. We ate a lot of cake that day. Then one day, I heard Ryan really liked my show too. I was so happy, I just knew I had to meet him in person. I asked my parents if I could go to Ryan's house to play with him. They said yes. And so I took the fastest possible way. I mailed myself. When I got to Ryan's house, we played tag and ate gummies. I met his parents and his little sisters too. It was like getting a whole extra family. Now I get to come onto his show and go on trips with him. And the best part is, my friend from the swamp loves Ryan too. I have so many friends and fans now, and I'm so happy. Hi, you Lady Gators. Today we're going to do Draw My Life for my friend Mo the Monster. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, Mo. No one can understand you. Let me try. A long time ago, on a planet far, far away, I was born. My parents were so happy to have a new monster as part of the family. They bought me all kinds of toys, musical instruments, and building projects. My parents wanted me to become a great engineer and run a factory one day, just like everyone in their family. So, I started school. I was really happy to meet new friends. But school wasn't fun. Every day we read out of the same books. 
stacks and stacks of rules for how to build. Books with no pictures. There was no art, no music. Everyone knew exactly what they wanted to be when they grow up. An engineer, a construction worker, a dump truck driver. But not me. When I grow up, I don't want to work in the factories or build roads. I want to play with toys all day, make music, and have fun. And one day, I was helping my dad clean out our new space launcher. He told me he'd be right back. And definitely not to touch any of the controls. But I just couldn't help it. I had to know what that button would do. And I pushed it. All of a sudden, the ship started shaking. Lights flashed everywhere. And the ship went straight up into the sky. The ship went into hyperspeed, the fastest any spaceship could go on Motopia. I was soon very far away from home. Little did I know, I was getting closer to a new home. When I finally landed, it was in a very strange place. It didn't look like Motopia. Grass was green. There was water everywhere. The sky was covered with fluffy white things. Nobody looked like me or talked like me. I just wanted to go back home to Motopia, even if it was super boring. Hey, that's me! You're right, Mo. I'll just read only my part. Then I saw two kids playing in a giant outdoor swimming pool. They were talking, laughing, and best of all, eating this stuff called gummies. Mmm, that was so good. I started to play with them too. This is how I met Gus the Gummy Gator. He learned my language and always wanted to go on crazy adventures. <laughs> we were always eating gummies. We even started our own swamp band. Very soon, my parents came to the swamp too. And they liked it so much, they decided to stay. They were so happy I left Motopia, even though it was by accident. Later on, Gus moved away to the city. But my parents still let me take my space car over to see him. Even though I'm still learning how to drive it. End.